Hi, and welcome to In Plain English, uh, Science Edition. This is where we talk about complicated concepts in simple terms as possible. Uh, so in this week, we're going to talk about the cranial nerves uh, and try to do it in eight minutes or less, learn the cranial nerves. So there are several mnemonics to learn the cranial nerves. The one that most of them are lewd. The one we're going to go with is as tame as I could find. And they almost always start with O, O, O. Um, this one would be to touch and feel uh, very good velvet. Such heaven. Uh, and then the other one to remember, this one's a little bit more crude is some say marry money but my brother says big boobs matter most okay those are the two mnemonics you need to remember to know all the cranial nerves so write down in order this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve cranial nerves and uh, they're often written in roman numerals uh, so you can see those two four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve uh, okay so now what they do first cranial nerve O okay is gonna be uh, olfactory okay the olfactory nerve just does just what it sounds like um, and it's going to do the smell, okay? Olfactory is your smelling scents and glands, and uh, it's one of the bigger cranial nerves. runs right to your ear, okay? Next is optic, which again, if you think optical illusions, that's your eyes, right? So that's the nerve that controls your sight and visual input. Okay, the third is oculomotor, which again, oculo is going to be eye movement. And that's kind of what the next next two do. Um, T is trochlear, which also controls some of the muscles around your eye and help control your eye pivoting and rotation and, and uh direction following visual cues. Uh, the fifth cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve. It's also one of the larger cranial nerves and that you remember that by you have five fingers. If you spread your five fingers out over your face that's the trigeminal nerve. It has branches that spread out across your face and innervate feeling in your face. Um, that's where this B comes from. I, I didn't mention that, but so the sum S is going to be a sensory nerve. S sensory nerve. M motor nerve controls eye movement. Motor nerve. M motor nerve controls eye movement again. B both. So this is sensory and motor nerve. So it controls the sensation of your face and all the muscles involved in chewing. Okay. Um, six is the abducens which is, goes back to your eyes again. It's, humans are very visual creatures. This helps control your eye movement laterality, so shifting your eyes from side to side, and that's an M, motor nerve. Seven is your facial nerve. Um, I remember that because a seven looks like a backwards F, and so it gets your facial move mo movement, and it's uh, both motor and sensory. But it's primarily motor, which is going to be all the muscles in your face that control expression, everything but chewing. Um, so, uh, let's say facial expression. Uh, 
V, uh, v is the vestibular cochlear. Uh, this is cranial nerve 8. And what it does is vestibulo, which means balance, right? So it controls your inner ear balance and sends feedback to your brain. And cochlear, which is your cochlea, your hearing. So this is the ear that allows you to hear and controls your uh, proprioceptive, you know, your, your balance, how you dictate where you are in space. Um, so that's a sensory nerve. G is uh, glossal pharyngeal. Uh, pharyngeal nerve. This is both, okay? So it controls the sensation of kind of the back of your throat and the movement and control of your uh, pharynx, so the back of your throat and mouth. Um, v, cranial nerve 10, is the vagus. Vagus, think of vagabond, think of it's a, the Greek word for wanderer. So this is the one that wanders down your body, and uh, wanderers are always looking for food. So this one goes down to your gut and helps regulate many, many things in your body. Um, final accessory nerve, uh, also sometimes just called the accessory nerve, um, and that's a motor nerve that controls a lot of the nerves in your neck involving like head rotation, um, a lot of response to, to stimuli, to dangerous stimuli, you almost turn your head automatically, that's control by the spinal accessory nerve. And then H, heaven, is hypoglossal glossal nerve, which controls uh, your tongue movement, control of your tongue for eating, for speech, for, uh, you know, pronunciation, enunciation of words. So, and that's also a motor nerve, motor of the tongue. So that's it. There's your 12 cranial nerves uh, in plain English in as simple terms as possible. Remember these mnemonics, O, 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 to touch and feel very good velvet. And you can even say ah for a spinal accessory, such heaven or just such heaven. And then some say merry money, but my brother says big boobs matter most. That's going to give you whether it's sensory or motor. And this will give you the first letter so that you can remember the name. And then a lot of times I'll use this number, the number to help, like I said, with the seven and the facial, the five and the trigeminal, help me remember what they are used for. Um, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate your feedback. Thanks a lot.